let n equals to 36 number 36 so for number 36 what is the total number of factors or dna what is the total number of odd factors or tn or f what is the total number of even factors or tnef and finally what is the total number of prime factors tnpf so first let us use a prime factorization table this means we need to break the composite number the number 36 into a prime multiples so number 36 will be when we divide number 36 by 2 it will give us 18 2 18 by 2 it will give us 9 9 by 3 3 3 by 3 it will be 1 so this will be our uh, result so this will be 36 equals to 2 raised to 2 2 raised to 2 times 3 raised to square so total number of factors calculated using this formula so 2 raised to a times p raised to p b times p2 raised to c so to calculate this we need to add uh, to the powers 1 1 and multiply then we find the total number of factors so number 36 is already calculated as 2 raised to 2 times 3 raised to 2 so the nf will be 2 plus here 2 plus 1 and also here 2 plus 1 so 2 plus 1 3 2 plus 1 3 so 3 times 3 it will give us 9 so total number of factors is 9 so the total number of factors will be calculated using uh, this formula what we have to do is just we need to drop the even number 2 so when we drop 2 we only have this one 3 raised to 2 so 3 raised to 2 will only have 2 plus 1 so 2 plus 1 will be 3 total number of even factors will be calculated using this formula total number of factors equals 2 uh, total number of uh, equals 2 total number of even factors equals to total number of factors minus total number of odd factors we already have total number of odd factors and also total number of uh, and also total number of uh, total number of factors so total number of factors is 9 and total number of odd factors is 3 so 9 minus 3 it will be 6 so total number of prime factors will be calculated uh, using this formula just we have to, have to do is add all powers we only have two and two powers so when we add them two plus two four so total number of uh, prime factors is uh, four total number of distinct prime factors to calculate this we just have to do count all the bases in our case we have two and three so we we have total number of distinct prime factor is two okay okay let us uh, use another equation we have given this number 2 raised to 5 times 6 raised to 6 times 9 raised to 3 times 14 raised to 4 times 21 raised to 2 so what is the total number of factors tnf and also what's the total number of all factors tnof what is the total number of even factors tnef what is the total number of prime factors tnpf so when we solve it we don't need to use a prime factorization table it we it's already uh it's already calculated but we need to check all the numbers uh, all the multiples are only prime numbers so as you can see 6 is not prime 9 is not prime 14 is not prime 21 is not prime so we need to uh, make it into a prime factor so we need to break it into prime multiple since some of the bases are composite numbers so 2 raised to 5 times 6 means 2 uh, yeah 2 times 3 raised to 6 times 3 raised to 3 uh, 3 times 3 is 9 raised to 3 2 times 7 is 14 raised to 4 uh, 3 times 7 is uh, 21 raised to 2 so now all are prime we need to just rearrange it like this 2 raised to 5 2 raised to 5 times 2 raised to 6 times 3 raised to 6 times 3 raised to 3 times 3 raised to 3 times 2 raised to 4 times 7 raised to 4 
times 3 raised to 2 and times 7 raised to 2 so uh, let us let us select like terms 2 for 2 we have 5 uh, here and we have 6 here and we have 4 over here so 5 plus 6 plus 4 times 3 3 4 3 we have 6 here 3 3 and we have 2 so we need to add them or together so 7 will have 4 and 2 so it will give us 2 will be 2 raised to 15 3 will be 3 raised to 14 7 will be 7 raised to 6 so now we can calculate uh, what's required like this okay total number of factors will be calculated just we need to uh, add 1 to their powers and multiply them so uh, 15 plus 1 14 plus 1 6 plus 1 just multiply this uh, addition result so it will give us 1680 okay total number of prime factors total number of prime factors we need to add all the powers total number of prime factors just add all the powers when we add them 15 plus 40 plus 6 so it will give us 35 so total number of distinct prime factors will be counting all the bases how many bases do we have we have three right 15 uh, 14 and 6 so we have three so three will be our dnadpf total number of distinct prime factor okay this is another question the least number which uh, when increased by 5 is divisible by each of 24 32 and 36 and 54 is what will be that number okay first let us understand this question uh, when we increase a number there is a number when we increase that number by 5 we need to add 5 to that number so this is divisible by 24 32 36 and 54 right so uh, convert the problem into a solvable equation so when we convert it it will be like this n plus 5 equals to 2 times of lcm of 24 32 and 36 and 54 so where they they the lcm of those numbers need to be computed using this uh, prime factorization table okay so 24 24 uh, 32 36 and 54 what we have to do is just uh, uh, we need to divide 24 by 2 it will be 12 uh, 32 by 2 16 36 by 18 it, uh, by 2 18 54 by 2 it will be uh, 27 okay uh, another level uh, 12 by 2 it will be 6 12 by 6 uh, 16 by 2 8 18 by 2 9 uh k27 by 2 uh, cannot be so it cannot be uh, divisible by 2 so we need to put it as it is okay let us go to another level 2 uh, 6 by 2 3 8 by 2 4 okay 9 by 2 it cannot be divisible by 2 so put it as it is okay another level 3 uh, by 4 it cannot be so put it as it is 4 by 4 it is 1 uh, k9 by 4 so it's also we cannot uh, divide 9 by 4 so put it as it is so 27 by 4 also it cannot be uh, divisible by 4 okay 3 by 3 by 3 it is 1 3 by 1 uh, it's already all already 1 by 3 we don't need to because we already have number 1 so we don't need to divide it by 3 so okay 9 by 3 3 27 by 3 9 okay let us go another round uh, let us uh, put it as it is 1 1 we have number here 3 by 3 1 9 by 3 3 let us go another final round so 3 uh, 1 1 1 over here 3 by 3 1 so all uh, 1 already obtained so we need to stop at this time we need to stop then we need to use this result to calculate their lcm to determine the lcm we need to multiply all the prime uh, the prime numbers obtained from this lcm table so uh, 
it is two raised to three times four times three raised to three so we need when we multiply this number it will give us 430 so 430 is the same of the number 24 32 36 and 54 so as you can see uh, the table is so simple just uh, just divided by uh, by numbers then i put the result over here and when it comes to one 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 we need to stop then after that we can use this result to find their l same so n plus 5 is equal to 2 times of l the l same is 432 so n plus 5 equals to 864 so n would be 864 minus 5 so it is 859 so the answer will be 859 is c okay uh, the lcm the lcm and ratio of four numbers are uh, 630 the lcm and ratio of r the ratio of four numbers are 660 and uh, 2357 respectively the difference between the greatest and the least number is uh, what will be the greatest and the least number okay the solution will be uh, first, let us uh, list out what's given from this question. We are given ratio to 2 to 3 to 5 to 7. And also, uh, let us say k be that number. So, if that is the k is the number, so the numbers uh, are 2k, 3k, and 5k, and 7k. So, then create a solvable equation from this. Uh, it will be like this. LCM of these numbers equals to 630 right so k can be uh, moved to this because it's common so the lcm of these numbers will be 630 so uh, from this we don't need to use a table because all the numbers are prime so just we need to multiply those uh, numbers to found their lcm so 2 times 3 times 5 2 times 7 uh, will be uh, okay will be 200 uh, and uh, 210 so k will be calculated as uh, 630 over 210 so the value of k will be 3 so we are asked the difference between the greatest and the least number the greatest is 7k and the least is 2k so 7k minus 2k is 5k so 5k means 5 times 3 since k is 3 so 5 times 3 is 15 so uh, the answer will be 15 c Okay, uh, the HCF and the LCM of two numbers are 12 and 368 respectively. If one of the number is 92, the other number will be what? Okay, let us use a formula to calculate this LCM times HCF is equal to two numbers in one and n to or a1 and a2. So from this uh, LHCF or high common factor or greatest common factor, uh, and LCM of two numbers already given 12 and 368. So we can substitute this into that number. If the one number is 92, the other number will be. So when we substitute 12 times 368 to 92 times N2, so N2 will be calculated as N2 calculated as 12 times 368 over 92. So it will give us uh, 4,000, it will give us 40. Eight. so the number will be b answer is b so okay what is the highest power of 2 in 276 factorial okay so let us use a prime factorization table uh, here we need to consider only the quotient results and discard the remainder uh, we will see it when we do this okay number is 276 so when we divide 2 by 206 it's 138 uh, by 269 by 2 uh, we cannot divide it so we need to uh, discard the remainder here uh, sorry, let us say 34 okay 34 by 2 uh, 17 okay 17 by 2 uh, 17 cannot be divided by 2 so let us discard the remainder over here because 17 by 2 is uh, uh five and also uh, eight point five something like that so point let us discard point five just write eight okay by two four four by two two and two by two one 
just we have this results now we can use it so add all the numbers in the right which is here so uh, when we add them it will give uh, it will here uh, the composite numbers sorry here so when we add them it will give us 273 so the highest power will be 273 so the answer will be uh, c so uh, here we need to discard the remainder where it's very important discarding the remainder this is uh, uh, one of the good trick